measurement is the foundation of all experimental science and technology. Now I am going to introduce two terms accuracy and precision of instruments. What is accuracy? It is the measure of how close the measured value to the true value of a quantity. Okay, so closeness of the measured value to the original or true value of the physical quantity is called accuracy. Now what is precision? It is the resolution to which the physical quantity is measured by any measuring device. Accuracy depends on external features like it depends on temperature, environmental conditions like temperature, pressure etc. It depends on the procedure followed, it depends on the technique of measurement etc. Okay, but precision depends on the instrument, the least count of the instrument. Now what is this least count, least count? Least count is the least count is the minimum reading that can be measured or minimum div division of a measuring device. For example, meter scale. What is the least count of meter scale? What is the minimum reading that can be measured by using a meter scale? That is 0.1 centimeter, 1 millimeter or 0.1 centimeter, isn't it? So least count of meter scale is 0.1 centimeter. There is another device called vernier calipers. Okay, so it is also a device used to measure diameter of a bob or diameter of a material. Okay, and we will study what is diameter and how di using diameter, using vernier calipers, diameter is measured. We will study in the peer practical class. Okay, children. So, vernier calipers, for vernier calipers, least count is 0 0.01 centimeter. Okay, so here meter scale having least count 0 0.1 centimeter and vernier calipers having least count 0 0.01 centimeter. So we can see in a vernier calipers the least count is smaller, isn't it? So devices of smaller value of least count have greater value of precision. So vernier calipers gives more precise reading than meter scale because for a vernier calipers least count is 0 0.01 centimeter. So the reading obtained using vernier calipers is more precise than the reading obtained using meter scale because meter scale having least count 0.1 centimeter and vernier calipers having least count 0.01 centimeter. So as least count decreases, precision value increases. Okay, we can take an example. Let the true thickness of a sheet is 1.42 centimeter. Okay, so that's a true value. A student used two measuring device, one having least count 0.1 centimeter. So that may be meter scale and other with least count 0 0.01 0 1 centimeter and that is vernier scale to measure the thickness of the above sheet and the student got the two values if uh, when he used the first device he got the value is 1.4 centimeter and in the second case the value obtained was l2 equal to 1.45 centimeter so true value was 1.42 when the student used two devices to measure the the thickness he got the first value is 1.4 centimeter by using a measuring device of least count 0.1 centimeter and he got another value L2 is equal to 1.45 by using a device of least count 0.01 centimeter. So what, which one is more accurate which is more closer to the true value 1.4 centimeter is closer to the true value no? here 1.45 comparing to 1.45 1.4 is more closer to the true value therefore we can say that 1.4 centimeter is an accurate reading which is precise but 1.45 centimeter is more precise than 1.4 centimeter why because 1.45 centimeter is measured using a device having least or smaller least count 1.45 centimeters obtained using a device having least con 0 0.01 centimeter. So that is a smaller value, no? So 1.4 centimeter is closer to the true value, hence it is more accurate. And 1.45 centimeter is more precise because it is measured using a device having smaller least count. So that is the main difference between precision and accurate accuracy. So accuracy means the closeness of the measured value to the true value, and uh, precision is the limit of resolution of the measured value. Okay, children. Errors in measurement. The difference between true value and measured value is called error. Errors are classified into systematic errors, random errors, and release count errors. The various types of systematic errors are instrumental error. 
it arises due to imperfections of measuring device such as manufacturing defects incorrect calibration of its scale etc imperfection in experimental technique and procedure it arises due to incorrect experimental procedure for example the external conditions like temperature pressure are some important factors which may affect the reading third one is personal error these errors arise due to carelessness lack of experience or individual bias of the observer in taking an observation systematic errors can be minimized by improvement in experimental technique and devices being careful while taking measurement maintaining the external conditions second type of error is random errors these errors which occur irregularly due to unpredictable fluctuations in voltage temperature pressure etc random errors can be minimized by taking number of readings for a given experiment and then calculate its mean value third one least count errors this arises due to low resolution of the measuring device least count errors can be minimized by using measuring devices of greater resolution or smaller least count hope you got the concepts of errors and its types okay children